Amen. The children are going to lead us in worship this morning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to encourage you today to be just like if you were going to be with the adults. We would want you to join with us. These boys and girls are going to lead us in praise and worship. So if you would allow them to lead you today, and do you understand that's so important to let these young boys and girls see you praise and worship with them. So I'm going to ask you when they say stand up, Stand up. And when I ask you, go when they clap, go ahead and clap along with them. We want you to understand this does not change a thing. Old to young. In fact, to be honest with you, I'd rather almost say I like young people leading praise and worship. Yeah. So I want you to enjoy this, but also remember, this is glory to God as we worship and we give praise. Before you stand up, I would really like to ask the kindergarten parents, if you would just stand up where you are. We have 10 very anxious children that would like to make sure you're out there. So just give them a wave. You guys see where your moms and dads are? You're going to do awesome. All right, now everyone, would you please join us and stand? We are going to worship at this time. This is not a performance. This is worship. So please stand and join us.
comes from darkness to light Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served I know, I know, I know, I know
Will you join me in prayer? Lord, we thank you that that's who you are, that you are a good, good father, and that we are loved by you, and that's who we are. And we thank you, and we praise you. Thank you for our children leading us this morning in worshiping you, uh, for you are worthy of our love, our worship, our adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on up here, Michelle, and uh, at this time, you can go ahead and be seated. Uh, at this time, we want to give a tribute to mothers. Yes, we want to honor mothers today. I've got to turn this microphone on. I keep forgetting to do that. I apologize. <laughs> it's not the sound booth. It's me. We want to honor mothers today, and there's so many people in this room that have made a difference in someone's life. Maybe one of the children here, maybe children that are grown, but you've made a difference in someone's life. And I think if we all admitted it, we would not be here if it weren't for our mom or our grandma um, caring for us, loving us, praying for us. I know that's the case for me as well. So we're going to have the children. So I'd like all the children that are in the sanctuary to help me pass out um, these seed packets because you've planted God's word or in someone's heart, and I know it, your child, your grandchild, and we want you to take a seed packet and plant the seeds with a child or, or your child. Your child can be whatever age. <laughs> We, we all like to plant. So um, if the kids would come forward, so all the kids that are seated out there, I need your help. Come on up. Hi. Come on up. Come <laughs> Don't be bashful. And then I'm going to ask our kindergartners to come down because you guys are going to help me too. Okay. So I'd like all the mothers to stand. Take this basket. I'd like all the mothers to stand. Now, boys and girls, there's a lot of mothers. I'd love all the grandmothers to stand. If you're a mother or a grandmother, please stand. You kiddos are going to take into any of the ladies standing and hand them a seed packet. Tell them God loves you. <laughs> Once you get a seed packet, go ahead and have a seat so we know we've gotten people. Once you get a seed pack, uh, go ahead and be seated. That way we know which mothers have not been uh, given tribute to today. And we want to make sure you have w one of the seed packets to take home. All right, if you are one of our TLC preschool slash kindergarten kiddos, come back after you're done. You can take that. Come on. Can you find the ladies? Oh, you want them on the risers? Okay, not yet. Can you go give one to the ladies, Steve? We're going to do the offering next and announce it. Okay. All right. All right, if you are one of our TLC preschoolers or kindergartners come on back up if you have extra seed packets you can you can take them to the back that's fine come on back up that was nice and confusing <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers today. We honor you. What's that? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. How about if you, why don't you, since you... Let's pray a blessing upon our mothers. Lord, this morning we just want to bless all the mothers that are here today because they have been planting seeds for many, many years. And so, Lord, we thank you for them, and we pray that you would bless their hearts, encourage and strengthen them, O oh Lord. We love them, and we are so glad that you have given them to us in our lives. 
And we pray that the seeds will all be watered and they will grow and that we will grow uh, into your purpose and your plan for our lives. Bless all the mothers this day as they have such an important place in your heart and in ours. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to say one more time, what an amazing job our kindergartners did. They start their day. They start their day in Miss Batticaletti class, um, worshiping every morning. And um, so they had to pick their top five favorites for this morning. But we are very, very honored to be able to lead this congregation in worship. And I am just, I'm so proud. And you're going to hear me say that over and over again. But what a mighty generation. <laughs> what a mighty generation that we have formed here that is standing on the word. I hope that you see that and feel that today. I'm just, I'm undone with joy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, kindergartners. And we're going to receive our offering in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to share a few announcements with you that I hope you'll uh, be able to uh, listen to and carefully uh, pay attention. Uh, number one, you may have already noticed we have a car wash going on outside, so it's a good opportunity to wash mom's car uh, before you leave today. This is uh, our the Outreach for Youth, uh, which is a mission uh, very close to us here, and we're in partnership with, and uh, this is a fundraiser for them, uh, and they will be washing cars. Uh, they started at 9 this morning, and they'll go to 1 this afternoon, and so uh, uh, we're a one-stop uh, one -stop shop church, and you can get your car washed and at the same time come to church, and so the outreach for youth are doing that. Also, the youth are having a bake sale, I believe. They're still out in the lobby there, and uh, they're raising funds for their summer mission trip. And so if you'd like to take a cookie home, uh, that would be good, too. Couple, a few more announcements. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, is our church has been invited to join in a unity service at Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church on Fifth Avenue. And we did this last year, and we had uh, a number of our leaders and people that were uh, coming to support me. I preached, Bishop Mel was there, and our choir sang, and it was a great service. Really, it was an exciting service. Uh, we're doing it again this coming Wednesday. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we'll probably leave the church at about 6.15. If you'd like to carpool or, or follow somebody uh, to that church on uh, Fifth Avenue, uh, Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church. This is in your bulletin as well. And then uh, tomorrow night, uh, Monday night, normally is our elders' prayer meeting. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, instead, uh, I'm calling our church to prayer. Uh, we're coming together for a night of worship and prayer. Uh, it begins at 7 o'clock and uh, goes to 8 or 8.30, somewhere in there. But uh, I just this, is, this is in preparation for next Sunday. What's happening next Sunday? Well, uh, just to remind our people and to, to share with our guests this morning, next Sunday, our congregate, we're having a congregational meeting after the main service at 12 noon in which we will be voting, we will be voting to leave the denomination and become a non-denominational church. Next Sunday, we will be, uh, this has been a process that's been going on for uh, quite a few months, uh, and it's uh, been something that our congregation has, is, is aware of. Next Sunday, we will have, uh, the district superintendent will be here, uh, Dr. Tim Bias, uh, representing Bishop uh, Gregory Palmer uh, from the West Ohio Conference of the United Methodist Church. Uh, Dr. Bias will be here to preside over a congregational meeting in which we will be taking a vote as to whether to leave the denomination and that we agree with the terms uh, that they have given us in order for us to take uh, such a step. Uh, again, the reason why we're leaving uh, the denomination is because of our stance on the Word of God, just like Michelle was share, sharing at our children. Everything that we do here uh, is based upon what we see and uh, understand is God's will revealed in the Scriptures, uh, the, based on the Bible as the Word of God. Secondly, 
Uh, we, are re we are leaving because we want to stay focused on our mission. Uh, some of you might be aware that in the Methodist church right now, there's a great deal of conflict going on, a uh, great deal of uh, uh, controversy and uh, uh, civil war, I suppose you could even say it that way. Uh, we don't want to be a part of that. We want to stay focused on the mission that God has given us. We want to stay focused on what God has called us to be about, and that is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. And that's our mission, and we don't want to be distracted from that by all the uh, political uh, and social wranglings that are going on right now. In part of our agreement is that, uh, that they're asking uh, we will be giving up 15 acres of our land, that's the farmland east of the church, uh, plus they're asking us to pay back uh, some uh, past apportionments um, that we will be returning to, giving to them, uh, but are saying in another way, we will be keeping 17 acres of land, our preschool, our buildings, our parsonage, our oil well, we'll be keeping all of our assets. And uh, we consider that to be a very fair uh, step that, uh, that they have treated us very well. Uh, I believe that in a very real way that the Lord is leading us, uh, leading us to the promised land, out of the land of Egypt, uh, into the promised land. Uh, it started many years ago. Uh, actually, it started with a prophecy uh, that uh, I believe God revealed to this congregation that he was calling us to be the eastern gate. Uh, the eastern gate was the, the entrance into the temple of God. The eastern gate was the entrance Jesus rode in on, on the back of a colt. Uh, and the eastern gate was the gate called beautiful. And God is calling this church and this uh, body uh, to be the eastern gate. Uh, and it's being fulfilled right in front of our eyes as we step out in faith. Uh, I don't know, I understand it uh, can be uncomfortable and a bit... Unnerving. That's why we, we are having this prayer meeting tomorrow night to, to get ourselves, get our hearts in the right place so that God can bless uh, the steps that we're taking. Now, I've said all that to say this as well. If you are a visitor or a guest this morning, and we have many, this is a very good, if you don't have a church home or a church family, this would be a really good time to come be a part of what God is doing in this church family. And so I invite you, I invite you to join us in the adventure that we are taking. Uh, Trinity has not been a, a normal, un, a, uh, a run of the mill church for a long time, uh, but it's because we have a vision. We know where God is leading us and where it's unfolding to take us to. We have a wonderful legacy of the Holy Spirit uh, as part of our history at this church where the power of God moves in amazing ways. And so I invite you, uh, if you don't have a church home or family, come be a part of what God is doing in our church. At this time, let's pray and we're going to receive our morning offering. Father, again, we thank you for what you're doing and what you have done. And now, Lord, we bless you and we return to you that portion in our tithes and offerings. Lord, we give this as an expression of our thankfulness, of our gratitude, of our love for you, of our commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ and for the advancement of your kingdom. Bless this offering, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
right, everybody, get your waves out. Make sure you know where mom and dad or grandma and grandpa are sitting. Can you see them? Yeah? All right, now eyes on Mrs. Bird. I love the scriptures that they did this morning because that is so important for them to know the Lord, to love the Lord, and to trust the Lord. Those are verses that will carry them through. At this time, we're going to have Miss Lewis and Miss Kayla's class come on down. Miss Kayla, if you can help, that would be awesome. Give us just a moment. Kindergartners, go ahead and have a seat. Mm-hmm. Have a seat. There you go. Miss Lewis's class and Miss Kayla's class are going to sing Jesus Loves Me.
What a great job. What a great job. These guys have, uh, these guys have completed their first year at preschool. <laughs> they are a lot of order. That's okay. Um, in our three-day class, um, we have one that's moving away from us, but the rest are returning and headed to Mrs. Burden's class, which I will add is full. Praise God. <laughs> Mrs. Burden's class is full. Um, Ms. Lewis's class for next year is almost full. So um, we're so excited about even next year, but uh, we want to honor these kids. We have a gift for them. Um, each year we give them a gift, and every other year it changes. Um, this year is a devotional because we want them to continue to um, have that time of Bible learning at home. And so this is a great activity for over the summer. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and give um, out their certificates of completion and their devotional. And I know some graduations are stuffy and they don't want you to clap until the end, but feel free to hoot and holler. It's all right. First up is Hannah Deck. Dwight. Thank you. Next up is Ella Johnson. We had Ella's brother, Xavier. Yay. <laughs> Next up is Jameson Honnold. Next is Amos Hauser. Good job, Amos. There we go. Next is Amari Jackson. Our first year, we had Amari's sister, Adrian. Next is Abigail Weldensay. Next, we have Kaya Johnson. <laughs> Next, we have Alexa Thompson. Next, we have Eston Mann. Great job, Eston. We have Cameron Still. And last but not least, Austin Worrell. Good job, Austin. All right. Next, we're going to have Mrs. Burden's class come and sing a song for us as well. Great job. These are our pre-kindergartners. They're headed off to the big K word. 
but we are going to keep several of them for our kindergarten. Um, we're very excited about that. And um, they've done a great job learning, loving, sharing in Mrs. Burden's class. So I'm going to announce their names. And again, feel free to go wild. Alexis Hunnell. Cadence McMichael. Caleb Klein. Eden Franklin. Lucas Wilson. I almost lost you. Naomi Smathers. I had Naomi's brother, and I'm going to get the rest of the Smathers, too. <laughs> Azure Scott. McCain Bethel. Luke Baldwin. And Dwight Evelyn. I had Dwight's little sister, Lil, or older sister, Lily. So we're so proud of our pre-K kiddos. We know they're going to do great in their next step, in their next journey. Um, and uh, we're happy that we get to have some of them retain with us. Next, we're going to have our kindergartners come on down. Ms. Batacoletti has been teaching our kindergarten class this year. We use in a curriculum that's called a Becca curriculum. And it is a very advanced program. Um, they're very fluent readers. They can tell a time. I know some of my kids have trouble with that. <laughs> We're so used to digital. They can tell time. They can add. They can subtract. Um, but one of the things that they have done over the year is memorize scripture. So all of our kids have one scripture verse a week um, that, we, that we teach them, all classes. Um, our kindergartners, however, are going to be reciting these scripture verses. The, the way we pick them is the first word starts with the letter of the alphabet that we're studying. These guys have started from the letter A and can go all the way to Z. So, prepare to be ashamed.
Good job. Oh, my goodness. Whew. These guys have accomplished a lot over this year. Um, some of us uh, have come in not quite the right age yet for kindergarten, and they have not missed a beat. They are going to be some kindergarten teacher's favorite teacher <laughs> or favorite kid because they, are, they weren't old enough to go to kindergarten, yet they rose to the occasion and they went through kindergarten already through our class. There's many that are already accomplished kindergarten and moving on to first grade, and they also will be a shining star in their first grade teacher's eyes. I am so unbelievably proud of these kids and the work they've done. And I can't thank Miss Bat, Miss Batta Coletti, enough for all the time, attention, and love that she's poured into these kids in that process because they learned incredibly difficult things. These kids are all going home with a re summer reading program. These are from the Becca Book Curriculum, which is a Christian curriculum. So it's great reading stories at their level that will keep them going as they go through the summer. Um, and they're all good, good stories and Christian stories. They're not all Christian stories, but there's good stories, good storylines, good things to learn and read. So I'm very, very happy to um, hand these off to them for their accomplishments. Elijah, Trinity, Nathan, Isabella, Lucas, Mason, good job, buddy. Annabelle, Emlyn, James, <laughs> James, and Miss Marley. Woo. You guys can all come on down here and have a seat. And as they do that, I am so blessed and honored to have a team of teachers that go above and beyond. I have teachers that spend more time in their classroom without the children there, preparing for the children, than when the children are there. Their amount of love and devotion and dedication to these children is phenomenal. Beth Burden has been with me since the beginning. She started my sub because I only had eight kids, so <laughs> I couldn't afford two teachers. But Beth has been with us, and she has dedicated her life, her time, and her heart to the children that she serves. Thank you so much, Beth. <laughs> Kayla Finnegar, she started as an assistant with Beth and um, learned so very much that she decided to take on our three-day class with Miss Lewis, and she has done an amazing job. She had to go and have another baby, so <laughs> she thinks she's going to take a year off. I don't think she'll be able to. She'll miss us too much, but she will remain a sub, so she'll be in to see the kids um, on occasions as well. So thank you, Kayla. And Miss Lewis, she's our newest member of our staff, and she wasn't too sure she could do this, but yet she taught in the public schools for years. So I don't know what intimidated her about three-year-olds, but she quickly learned that they're so loving and forgiving and have so much grace, and above all, we have so much fun. And she has done a phenomenal job for a first year in our program, and she will be our lead teacher for our three-day class next year. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. I would also like to thank Jacqueline Mims. She has been a sub for us and um, helped us numerous times. Uh, she's always willing to help out and has taught with us before and this year remained as a sub. So thank you, Jackie. One more, two more thank yous. 
Um, Rachel Smathers is our treasurer. I couldn't do it without her. Thank you, Rachel. And Pat Schof is um, our kindergarten tester. All of our kindergartners took a Stanford testing. Um, we are so excited to get their scores back. They'll be ranked on a national level, and I know they are going to be right up there at the top. So they've done great. So thank you very much. At this time, we're going to turn our attention to the screens. We have a short, I promise, slideshow of pictures throughout the year. When I was a kid, I was sure. I could run across the ocean Now I was gonna be an astronaut But it was you and it was me I had everything I needed Faith could even move a mountain top And then I grew up And then I got older And my life got tough And we grew apart to you, you were pink or blue, and everything I wanted, here's to you, never sleeping through, from midnight till the morning, had to crawl before you walked, before you ran, before I knew it, you were trying to free your fingers from my hand, cause you could do it on your own, now, somehow. Slow down, won't you stay here a minute more? I know you wanna walk through the door, but 
too fast Let's make it last a little while I pointed to the sky And now you want to fly I am your biggest fan I hope you know I am But do you think you can somehow Slow down to you every missing tooth every bedtime story here's to barbie cars lightsaber wars sleeping in on sunday had to crawl before you walked before you ran before i knew it you were teaching me the only thing love can hold hands through it when it's scary you got me let's slow you stay here a minute more I know you wanna walk through the door but it's all too fast let's make it last a little while I pointed to the sky and now you wanna fly I am your biggest fan I hope you know I am but do you Slow down Please don't roll your eyes at me I know I'm embarrassing But someday you'll understand You'll hold a little hand Ask them if they can Just a glimpse of our wonderful year. Go ahead and stand up, boys and girls. As they do, they also have, going home with them, a memory book that their teachers have made for them of their artwork. There's also a bunch of uh, pictures. Put your, put your books down because we're going to do our goodbye song. Just stand right where you are. At the end of the day, we, we end our day with a special song. And um, it's our goodbye song. It's ready? Again, in a round. <laughs> At this time, the kids are going to head back to their classrooms, and um, they'll take all of their things with them. Thank you guys so much. I would ask if you would please stand and honor Michelle Cherry Holmes, our director for our preschool. Thank you. The Lord gave Michelle a vision of this preschool, and she was faithful and walked by faith and prayer, and it's amazing to see what God has done, and we honor you. Well, thank you. 
And that is truly a leading from the Lord. Um, go ahead and have a seat. Uh, when you leave today, if you would keep in mind, we do have a fundraiser for the preschool. Um, there will be two special baskets that will be designated just for that. Um, we are building, or actually the Eagle Scout group is building a new playhouse for our playground. Um, our other one was very, very old and um, needed to come down. And so that came down, and this summer, uh, they're Eagle Scout, the Boy Scouts have an Eagle Scout that's doing a project. He's going to make the plans, and he's going to build it, but we need to help fund it because we're using special materials that will not splinter, will not fade, and will stand the test of time. So if you find it in your heart to donate for that cause, there'll be baskets in the back. So much appreciated. Anything you might give. All right. Thank you, Michelle. And uh, today has been about honoring uh, our mothers, but also uh, honoring this great class of kids and uh, in our preschool. Uh, and once again, we are just so thankful for all of you parents and all the families that are gathered here uh, to come and to uh, uh, celebrate what the kids uh, have done and accomplished. Uh, I'm not going to try to preach this morning, so uh, we, can, uh, we can be out on time. <laughs> yeah, I, I was warned ahead of time this might happen. Will you stand with me for our benediction? And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for coming.